Mithunga is a dream to work with. And if you get to work with him, then you know, what's the matter? The machinery of two trolls is so large that you really don't care who they are, where they are from, what are they, you know, getting paid to do this for. I have felt that for a couple of years now because the kind of work that is being offered to me is like i'm like oh yeah i want to do that it's not like are yaar ye kyu aaya it's not <laughs> it's not in that space anymore bestseller looks like a perfect series that i would like to binge watch on the weekend Uh, I have with me the gorgeous and talented Gohar Khan, who will tell me more about the Amazon series, Amazon Prime Video series. Uh, welcome to Indexless. dot com. I am Kameshwari. Hi, Kameshwari. Thank you so much for your kind words. Tell me, would you call it one of the challenging roles that you've taken so far? Yes, sir. I think I think Mayanka is uh, the perfect. Uh, exposure no uh, to me personally as an actor mm-hmm. uh, because it shows so many different shades of a woman you know somebody who deals with her personal life a certain way somebody who deals with her work life a certain way somebody who you know uh, reacts a certain way under pressure some, somebody who is uh, in in certain situations not afraid to you know speak her mind and in other situations maybe she'll be super careful because she's talking to her husband so that those kind of you know contradictions and uh, uh, complications and complexities of this particular character makes it very relatable mithunga is a dream to work with he is somebody that i think every actor you know he is in every actor's bucket list and agar unke sath kaam karne mil gaya to you know kya baat hai So for me, first of all, I was pinching myself that oh my God, there's Mithun Chakravarti in this series, and I get to you know have so many scenes with him and all of mm-hmm. that. Um, but the fact that I got to perform in front of him as a co-actor in itself is a dream, you know. Um, so um, he's also super fun to be around on set. He is a, a chiller. He is uh, constantly making us laugh and you know um, pulling Sonali's leg, pulling my leg. um uh, and it was an absolute joy to work with sonali arjun and satya um uh, mm. and everyone else was fabulous when in the trailer we see that how the character you know gets uh, threats from a uh, troll a troll and how that one troll changes the whole life uh, you're also very active on twitter how do you tackle all that hate that uh, sometimes comes to you and do you think that actors often become the soft target I I am very good at ignoring. Like if I if something that you know there was a time where I used to really take the time out to reply back and you know say my point of view, but now I've realized that the machinery the machinery of two trolls is so large that you really don't care who they are, where they are from, what are they you know getting paid to do this for. So I'm like like they are non-existing. Like they don't exist. so i don't i don't bother to like reply to them but in bestseller that troll or that uh, stalker will do a lot of crazy things so bestseller me you should really be careful often we see that you know to uh, be producers or makers uh, they slot actors on the terms of their box office uh, numbers or how many hits they've given sort of like they also slot them like best seller do you think it is fair to slot this way and how do you think that ott has challenged this perspective well that trend is too deep and too long back in history that i am nobody to comment on because uh, yes numbers do uh, put you in a certain category but then there are people like me who you know paved their path to uh, not through numbers but just through consistent work and to through consistent uh, display of their talent of mm-hmm. course by the means of the opportunities that were given to them and uh, you still try and you know uh, uh, get yourself a, a spot in that in that jungle of numbers and that's all really that i concentrate on so uh, that trend is not something that i can really comment on uh but uh, uh 
what was your ha- latter half of the question uh, how ott has challenged that perspective yeah ott in fact is a great uh, uh, medium because over here no one's the lead no one's the you know ye koi ki matlab aap hi front runner ho aapke dushum dushum pe you know show chalega uh, wo wo trend hi tod diya ott ne because in mm-hmm. fact if you see uh, a lot of the trend on amazon and of course the other competing otts if you see the cover face of most of the shows they are not the actors who are probably considered the lead but they are actually actors who connected with the audience the most you hmm. know people who've had the most impact uh, in a particular series become the face of of the campaign uh, so that in itself is a great uh, you know uh, kind of a um, um, uh, i would say a change in trend or a, or a new you know beginning where actors get work for um their potential things have changed a lot uh from uh, in the personal and professional level for you um would you say that you feel like finally things are falling into place yeah i have felt that for uh, a couple of years now because the kind of work that is being offered to me is like i'm like oh yeah i want to do that it's not like mm-hmm. are yaar ye kyu aaya it's not <laughs> it's not in that space anymore because the kind of workers you know the the kind of uh, filmmakers or the project makers that approach me i am excited about that uh, at the word go and of course the kind of characters that uh, come to me now are um and like oh finally like okay a full length of a show okay great um mm-hmm. so i think i think eventually um uh, good work is what gives you more uh, more exposure and you know your performances eventually and i i have absolute faith in the kind of talent i have and i knew that only the work my work will speak for itself and alhamdulillah that's exactly what's happening and i'm very grateful for that So would you say that people have started taking you seriously as an actor now? High time, isn't it? Which project would you say that ha- brought that change for you? And I can't really I can't because actually the most appreciation that I get even today is for my very first film which was Rocket Singh. Uh, mm. so i can't say that oh rocket singh ke baad i was doing like back to back i was i was in films but yeah. singh ke baad i did ishq zade i did game i did begum jaan which was a, one of the most appreciated roles of mine mm. uh, you know uh, so i wouldn't say that it was a particular project but i uh, again i cannot take away from the kind of love that the office got for me or tandav got for me or mm. Uh, uh so i can't really say that it was that one particular project but i think it's the small baby steps and you know eventually now with ott being watched across um so now yeah uh, gohar khan the uh, you know uh, was the kind of love i received for being gohar khan is now also uh, splashing over all my characters as well that i am playing so i'm very happy Zed actually hasn't watched a lot of my work, honestly. Um, and even today, uh, I think he gets surprised. Okay, oh, you were in this film also. Oh, you were. In that. <laughs> he has no. He has no idea. But I think I, I think he watched. Uh, he watched uh, Begum Jaan when I was away from one of my shoots, and he called me in the middle of the night and he said, "My God, Jaanu, like you're too good in Begum Jaan." And and as they like, go oh, you finally watched it so i think because that's the only one he has watched i guess i would say he loves uh, he loved he loved tandav also actually hmm. um uh, yeah begum jaan i would say who do you think have had uh, the most influence on you as a person as, and as an actor Uh, as a person, I think it's my mom because she is everything that I am today. I mean, I have I have seen her being extremely generous, extremely helpful, extremely uh, polite with people of all stratas. I have seen her being a one woman show, you know, bringing up five kids all by herself. So I think my mom's had the biggest impact on my life uh, for the person that I am, and as an actor. as an actor i think there have been all those little experiences of mine that i used to watch uh you know films 
when i was a baby i used to watch a lot of films of uh, rekha ji and i used to watch a lot of films of dimple kapadia i used to watch a lot of films of uh, uh, dilip kumar saab and and those kind of uh, people amitabh bachchan oh my god how can i how can i ever forget the impact that shri amitabh bachchan has on my life because i used to see him a lot uh like my father you know i used to i used to think that he res- reminds me a lot of the way my father's personality was you know mm. uh so i used to be super impressed by him and his performances so i think i think rekha ji uh amitabh bachchan for sure uh dimple ji um yeah i watched in numerous films of mithun da <laughs> uh, shri de in fact shri devi ji has a big impact on me as a performer If you were given a chance to uh, put out a biography uh, of yourself, um, what would you title uh, that book and why? Ooh. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I've never really thought about that. But I think I think I would I don't know. I would call it I don't know. Maybe I'd call it alive or maybe I'd call it she lived. because i think my life has been uh an amalgamation of every possible aspect uh of uh, you know uh hardships of of uh, of success of love of hatred of heartbreaks of of uh you know uh points in my life that i absolutely rejoiced for the kind of opportunities i had the kind of struggles actually i was made to go through so but all of it put together i think uh, the one fact that i i i lived through it all and i live by when i say lived um it actually has a connotation for uh, having no regrets you know having no absolutely nothing to that i would change and that's why i i i i i call it either alive or she lived yeah there's so much coming up in the year 2022 um i mean starting off with best seller is something that i was waiting ke matlab kab release hoga best seller because i think it's going to turn the tables for me in so many ways um and then i have uh, crazy projects coming up this year so i'm really excited for everyone to watch it and uh, yeah life is just going to get better and more beautiful from here inshallah Well, I wish the same for you. Uh, thank you so much, Goha, for this conversation, and all the best for the upcoming all projects. <laughs>